Oh boy, here it is. This is the big inverter that Reliable Electric sent me as payment for making that other video for them. Well, actually, this isn't the inverter that they sent me as payment. This is the inverter they sent me as replacement for the inverter that they sent me as payment, uh, which doesn't work. So keep watching to see what happened to this one and uh, hopefully we'll be able to go through and fully test this guy out. This is an 8,000 watt inverter from Reliable Electric. Now they sent this to me uh, as payment for making that other video for them about the 3000 watt inverter, which I was happy to do. I like that 3000 watt inverter. It's still hooked up to the wall right over there. Uh, but this one had a failure. So I'm gonna run some of the old footage. So there I am hooking up this 8000 watt inverter. I'm all excited. Uh, you know, it, it works, it turns on and I plugged in my miter saw and I pulled the trigger and everything stopped. And what happened? I don't know. <laughs> but uh, the circuit breaker popped. Uh, I went to, I reset the circuit breaker uh, that I had added external of the inverter and the inverter still did not turn on. So I, I took it out and I replaced uh, six fuses in the inverter and tried it again, still didn't work. Uh, so then I went into uh, the diagnostic, tried uh, checking with my multimeter, went back and forth with Reliable Electric, uh, a few emails there, uh, trying to figure out what was wrong, and they decided to send me out a new unit. So the replacement Reliable Electric. <laughs> Double box, just like before. So let's check it out. 8,000 watts, 48 volt input, 120, 60 hertz. That looks correct. That's interesting that it's red and black wires now because it was red and blue on the 3,000 watt inverter. So we still have spare fuses, uh, that little plastic cover in there, and the manual, which doesn't really help you. So something to note, on the back here, you have two positives, two negatives, yet three positive cables and three negative cables. Just on the other side, these are joined up. But this is one of the things that I don't really like about the Reliable Electric. Same with the 3000 watt inverter that I have, is that there's one terminal on the back of the 3000 watt and two cables for each color. Uh, and here there's three cables for each color with two terminals. I would have rather the number of cables and the number of terminals were the same. So on this model with two, I would have preferred sending out two positives and two negatives, but make them thicker gauge to, to make up for missing the third. You know, th so that the total ampacity uh, would have been the same. Just my preference. Look on the other side of here, we'll see that these guys are joined together with what looks to be a copper uh, piece there, pretty thick. So even if your wires are hooked up to just one terminal, both terminals are being supplied because of that copper bar. Let's have some fun. Here we go. Take off the hardware and get this thing wired up. Some of the wiring is easier to do on the bench top. Right now I'm just gonna use the cables that came with it and uh, they're going to be adequate just to make sure that this works, but it's, they're certainly not adequate for a full 8,000 watts. I would definitely need to bump these up, and I will. So in the future, I will wire this in to a whole sub-panel with circuit breakers and try to power multiple loads, do a full load test on it. 
but for the purpose of this video, I just want to make sure that this thing actually works and won't fail like the last one. So take a look at the two differences here. Uh, this one I cut back and this one I haven't yet. And the rubber just comes up a little bit too far and would wind up uh, getting in the way of good clean connection. These terminals are not soldered on the other side. So even if they flex slightly as you tighten up the nut, they're not going to break a solder joint. So that part is good. Now this is an 80 amp circuit breaker, so on my system it's good for 3500, 3800 watts. I don't plan on putting that through this. Okay, we have the new 8000 watt hooked up, so let's turn on the circuit breaker. We can turn this switch on. There we go, it powered itself up. <laughs> so no problems so far. <laughs> uh, but the last one lasted this long as well. <laughs> All right, let's, uh, let's turn on a couple of things and see what happens. All right, well an LED will light up on the inverter. <laughs> okay, let's see if I can put something in between the miter saw and this on it. Uh, let's try this band saw on the inverter. This is 10 amps. All right, it did it. The miter saw has a 15 amp motor and the last 8,000 watt inverter that I had, the miter saw popped it. Let's see what happens when I pull the trigger this time. Here we go. Oh my. What is up with that? The 3,000 watt inverter will power this. So why is it that an 8,000 watt inverter won't? What am I doing wrong? Oh gosh. So some of those fuses look burned out for sure. We certainly blew the fuses in here. If you guys want to see a fuse blow, uh, I have a video uh, called Fuse Test. Yep. So I'm taking the multimeter and I'm putting it on that little diode symbol. So these little units are called MOSFETs and last time uh, Reliable Electric had me go through and test these and see like that one might still be okay. Like that one I'm not getting a reading. That one no reading. So some of these MOSFETs are probably blown. That's what happened last time. Because remember, they did give me spares. Uh, and I could put all the fuses back in, but because some of these MOSFETs are blown, uh, the unit itself still won't work. Like I said, they, they make a great 3,000 watt inverter. And I don't know if this is a particular component problem from you know, one of their suppliers, uh, or if it's a design flaw, uh, or what. but. You know, I, I don't want this to reflect badly on them as a company. I actually want them to do well because they have great customer service. I mean, being halfway around the globe and still getting back to me uh, with all of my emails, um, you know, I, I want them to do well. So I'll let you guys know in the future uh, what happens, uh, but that won't be for a few months at least. I'm going to move on to some other projects that I have lined up and some other videos that I want to make. So thanks guys very much for watching. If you enjoy the video, please give it a, bit, a thumbs up, like, share, and subscribe.